Hey everyone, I'm Mike from theparkprodigy.com and on today's video, we're gonna break down exactly how you get into Super Nintendo World here at Universal Studio Hollywood. So it's not as easy as some might think and that's why we're creating this video to just break down exactly how you can get into Universal Studio Super Nintendo World, all your options so you are as prepared as possible. I'm very excited, so let's go get started. So we're gonna start with the basics on just exactly how you get into Universal Studios Hollywood. So at this current point in time, there are four ways to get into Super Nintendo World here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So the first is gonna be general admission ticket, but then you'll have to most likely join a virtual queue at some point throughout the day, right? The second is going to be Universal now has an early entry specifically for Super Nintendo World. Third would be a Universal Orlando Express Pass ticket and fourth would be a Universal Orlando VIP experience. So they're all gonna be different across the board. As you'll see, the first is free. That's typically what most guests will want to do and we're gonna break down exactly how that works. We're starting with option number one for getting into Super Nintendo World here at Universal Studios Hollywood. And that is of course is going to be joining the virtual queue. So if you're familiar with theme parks and you're probably familiar with virtual queues at this point in time, if you're not familiar with theme parks, essentially what a virtual queue is, is you will have to download the Universal Studios Hollywood app, I had to pause there for a second because I almost said Orlando. You will have to download the Universal Hollywood app and essentially at park opening, you'll have to try to join a virtual queue. It's essentially the old school take a ticket. Universal will give you a number and they'll essentially call your number and then at that point, you can go and get into Super Nintendo World, right? So that is gonna be the most popular option and for the most part, it's the most popular option because it's free, right? The only thing that we don't like about it is it's not guaranteed that you'll get access through the virtual queue, right? So you're doing the right thing if you're watching this video, but you have to be prepared and you have to kind of really, really hop on at park opening. I would say an important step would be make sure you have the Universal Hollywood app downloaded before you even get here to the parks. And then taking it one step further, make sure your tickets are linked. And you'll see when you get here, there's gonna be different signs um, really throughout the entrance over here and that will allow you to kind of scan. Also, you can just jump onto the Universal Hollywood app, and then at that point, it actually will say, I'm looking at my phone right now, it says virtual queue. Right now, there's actually two on the virtual queue, but you'll just see where it says Super Nintendo World, click on that, and then typically what we do for Disney is, we'll just continue refreshing, refreshing like a couple minutes before park opens. And then once park opens, boom, you kind of hit it, and you'll be in the virtual queue. And then you pretty much wait for your number to be called to go and enter the Super Nintendo land. Another important tip to kind of add on, if you don't get access to the virtual queue when Super Nintendo World opens it early in the morning, just continue to check throughout the day. You know, you might get lucky and Universal might release some more spots to go and enter Super Nintendo World as the day goes on, depending on how crowded it is within the park. But just keep an eye on it. You know, don't give up if you don't get it right away. Okay, so the second option for getting into Super Nintendo World, and that is going to be the Super Nintendo World Early Park Entry Ticket. So this is an additional fee on top of your regular admission ticket to Universal Studios Hollywood. And essentially, the way it works is if you're familiar with Early Park Admission in Orlando, it gives guests access to Super Nintendo World one hour before regular park opening, or they open that area up to other park guests, right? So essentially what guests will have access to is during this time you can enjoy everything the new land has to offer, including going on Mario Kart, Bowser's Challenge, you can do character meet and greets, and you can try Toad Stew Cafe. Now the important thing about Toad Stew Cafe is that again, you do have to scan. Um, there's gonna be like QR codes throughout the entry here. You do have to scan once you kind of come and get into the park to even have an option to get into Toad Stew Cafe. So that's very, very important something you have to be familiar with. But essentially what this ticket will allow you to do is get into Super Nintendo World an hour before other park guests and just enjoy as much as you can before it starts to get a little bit busier later in the day. The time of the recording in this video, those early entry tickets are around $30. Um, so just keep that in mind for budgeting purposes if that is something that you're interested in doing. So the other really important thing to mention too regarding that early entry ticket is when you get here to the parks, you see the sign behind me, there's essentially two entrances. One is gonna be for regular admission, the other is going to be for those early entry tickets. So just be mindful of that, keep an eye out for the signs and definitely you wanna be sure that you line up the right line just to make sure you get in as quickly as you possibly can. Another important thing to note regarding that early entry ticket for 
Super Nintendo World is you also do need an admission ticket, right? So you, know, you can't just buy the $30 ticket, go in for an hour and then you know, go about your day. You do need to have an admission ticket and then you have to get that early entry ticket to go and enjoy Super Nintendo World. Another option you have for getting into Super Nintendo World early would be to get a Universal Express Pass ticket. So essentially what this ticket is going to allow you to do, just like it sounds, and if you're familiar with Universal Orlando, it's going to allow you to skip the regular lines, right? You'll have a separate queue, but specifically for Super Nintendo World, it will allow you to come into Super Nintendo World once throughout the day, pretty much like at your, you know, your choice, right? It's different from the Universal um, VIP Tour, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, but the Universal Express Pass is another option if you're trying to get into Super Nintendo World and you don't wanna to have to worry about getting on the virtual queue, or you don't wanna to have to get that early admission ticket if you wanna sleep in a little bit on your trip. Okay, and the last way to get into Super Nintendo World would be if you have that VIP experience. So again, very similar to Universal Orlando, the VIP experience, Universal's pretty much rolling out the red carpet, and you will have your own personal tour guide to essentially to bring you throughout the park, right? The cool thing about the VIP experience is it does include unlimited access if you have that private VIP experience to Super Nintendo World. Being able to just kind of enter and leave that part of the park you know, kind of as you please, there is a lot of benefits to that. And again, it's different from the Express Pass, which only allows you to enter Super Nintendo World once throughout your visit. So those are the main ways to get into Super Nintendo World. As you can see, they're all very, very different. And they all have very, very different price points too, which is very important to consider. Another important question that we do receive regarding this topic is, can I re-enter Super Nintendo World once I leave? And so for guests who have you know, they gained access through the virtual queue system or you have that Express Pass ticket. Unfortunately, you cannot get back into Super Nintendo World after you do leave. It is kind of one time come in um, and then once you leave, you are done for the day. However, with the VIP experience, the private VIP experience, you will be able to come and go as you please as many times as you like into Super Nintendo World. And so that is the list, everyone. That is exactly how you get into Super Nintendo World over at Universal Hollywood. I really, really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you are in the process of planning a Universal Hollywood trip and you do need a little additional help, just be sure to go check out our website, theparkprodigy.com. But I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you all again so, so much for checking out our video. And until next time, I will talk to you soon.